What up, guys? Josh here with Deprived Productions, the DP. We're back in UE4 Minecraft style with the ninth tutorial in this series. And this one's going to be super quick and simple because it's just some organization. We need to do a little bit of organization before we get jumped deeper into it because we're about to do deleting blocks. We did add and delete parts block one, or add and delete blocks part one, yeah. So I need to do part two of that, which is going to be deleting blocks. We're going to do some more powerful terrain generation, and we're going to start adding some icons to our little blocks in here, you know, because you can scroll a little mouse wheel if you guys have watched the the rest of the tutorials you should know that we've got it set up to where we've created a world and then we can we can go through here and set up different blocks blah 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 blah, blah all that kind of cool stuff so hopefully you've watched the other tutorials so you know what's going on but we're going to be doing organization today to get ready because there's some things we need to change now let's let's drag our window over here okay let's drag it all the way over right here there we go real nice we got all our stuff in the dp folder so i'm not going to lie if you go to content you see dp we're going to right click we're going to rename dp okay now you can do two different things if you want to rename it that's fine you know what we'll make it easier instead of renaming it we're just going to create a new folder in here okay now i'm going to do all caps for my two for my uh folders and i'm going to name this one minecraft okay hopefully i spell everything right if i don't i'm sorry now you'll notice it turned green you're like what's happening well let me explain to you what i did if you right click and go to set collar i've got a few set up here that i'm using so you can get a new collar you can go to clear collar whatever you want to do and you can set each folder to a collar that's what we're going to do we're going to we're going to have a minecraft folder and inside of that minecraft folder is going to be everything we're using Boom. So I just moved it all in there. Now, no no worries. Everything still works. Everything just relax. You know what I'm saying? We need to turn off our line traces from the last tutorial. But, you know, we're just, we're getting ready to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? So first, let's organize because it's about to get a little complicated and we're going to need several things. Let's go into Minecraft. We've got our stuff in here. Let's talk about all the different things we have. We have our HUDs, right? We did our HUDs here. We're kind of a review slash organization tutorial over the last eight we've done. It'll be real quick. We're going to create a folder for our two UMGs because there will be more. Again, if you look here, we haven't set up our hunger and blah, 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 all that stuff. So let's right click new folder and I'm going to name this one UMG. Now, you'll notice it already turns dark blue. That's because usually that's what I do, and I've already done it more than once. You can set it to whatever collar you want. But now when I'm in the DP folder, you can see, when I'm in the Minecraft folder, if I drop it down, you'll notice that there's another folder inside, and it's blue, and I can click on that. We're going to take our two HUDs, and we're going to move them into the UMG. Oh, no. I didn't mean to copy them, bro. I didn't mean to do it, so right-click them, delete them. Or, you know, if you want to copy them and then delete them later, do whatever you want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to move them there. There we go. Now, the thing is, these two materials are also part of the UMG, okay? This is the TBN that we created, and we're going to talk about that, too. We're gonna, and here's the TBN select, and that means for toolbar select, and that's the two materials we use, but we need to, we need to do some work with that. I'm going to move it into the UMG. That's the first thing I'm going to do, but we need to rename these. I'm not going to lie. So let's rename this toolbar space and toolbar space select. Let's do that now so we know what they are. So I've got toolbar space and toolbar space select image. I may have spelled that right. I might not have. I don't know. But that's the image. Image. I named them both image. I'm going to create inside of the UMG. I'm going to create another folder. And I'm going to name it images. Okay. And you'll notice it already turned blue. And it's cool because it's inside. So since it's inside the UMG, I want it to be the same color, right? We're going to keep it all. And I'll put my images in here. So all images we use will be in here. All HUDs will be in here. And boom. And you could create another uh, another um, folder here and call it HUDs. You know what I'm saying? Or, uh, in, you know, uh, yeah, H HUDs, bro. Widgets. You want to name them widgets, bro? But the point is, we've got a little start here. We're going to create another one, okay? And this is going to be easy. We're just going to name it player because we may be adding several things to the player. I like to make my player light blue. And as you can tell, it's already done it for me because that's what I've done in the past. I'm going to take my first person character, move it over there. Boom! You know what I'm talking about? So, again, now when I go to DP, if you go to content, you see DP. Again, if you want to get rid of the DP folder, that's just me, bro. That's how I roll. Minecraft, player, UMG. This is where it gets kind of fun. The Minecraft BP, I'm not too worried about. We're going to keep it outside by itself. But when it comes to the cubes, we have some stuff to do here. Now, as you can notice, if you haven't done this yet, yours might have been called Shape Cube, and I've renamed it Minecraft Cube, okay? Now, what that is is the whole game is working with cubes, so we're only going to work with one, and that's fine. But we need to put all of our cubes and the materials that we're going to use in a folder. So I'm going to go right-click, New Folder, and I'm going to name this one Cubes. Boom, and look at it. It's going to turn green. I'm going to grab my material, my material, and my cube, and move it over there and boom and now look what we have we can save everything we've done here and now what's cool is we've got our cubes we've got our player we've got our umg we've got everything set up and ready to go and if you want we could probably go ahead and put some stuff in here um this is our mcbp but we're going to rename that because it's actually not a minecraft bt you know what i'm saying this is our terrain generation so let's name it that right now terrain generation bp you know what i'm saying there we go and we might even go ahead go in a new folder create one called uh world 
Okay, you know what I'm talking about? Look how it turned yellow. It turned yellow for me, honey, because it's already ready. I don't know what the bright green was for, but I must have been using it. And I'll put all my world stuff in here. Because eventually, you know, we want if we can get far enough into it, we want our trees and stuff like that. And they may be separate blueprints. We don't know yet. Or um, there may be um, different things in here that spawn separate blueprints. And we may even rearrange this. But the point is, now we have everything kind of separated here. And and, and it's really good we did that, because there's one more thing we're going to do today to kind of get ready. Um, is I'm going to talk to you about something else we're going to be doing next. We're going to be setting up some. We're going to be setting up some icons. So what we're going to be doing is I want to explain something you can do. So let's say we're going to be setting up an icon. And we we have a picture of our cube, and this is just something we want to do. And you can decide if you want to do this later, or or if you want to do it right now, you can go ahead and follow me. I got my cube. You notice? Let's say you drag it over here out of the world. You know what I'm saying? Way over here. We we get our little winder. Move a little winder a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Move it over like this. Now it, we we drag a material on it, right? Because we want to take. Let's say we want to. You can't draw. You can't draw this block. You don't know exactly how to do it. You could get the lighting on it right. You know, you could change the lighting, do whatever you want. But there's another way to do this. There's just something I'm showing you, and you know, we'll, we'll discuss it more next video. We can double. We can take this grass block M material, and we can copy it, copy it, and make it an emissive material. That way, it always shines because you're getting some darkness here. You know what I'm saying? You want to take a little shot and do a screenshot because, like I said, if you can't. If you can't draw it or you can't do it in t 2D software, we're going to need to take a snapshot of it and use it as an image. You want to crop it and all that nonsense. But what you can do is you can right click on grass block M, duplicate it, right? And instead of M, I'm going to name it emissive, emissive, and then we'll put the M in there, right? Well, I'll, I'll maybe not because I have to put the underscore in the M. There we go. So this is the grass block emissive M. If I double click on it, watch what I do. I go to default lit. I set it to unlit, okay? I delete all three of these and get rid of the normal. And then I take this, hold CTR, I'll take the base color, drop it down to the emissive. Again, if you haven't watched the previous tutorials, this may look really confusing. And then you get rid of all the normal stuff we did, okay? And now, if we go back, we have an emissive version of this material. If I drag it on, snap, look at that. It always has that look, you know what I'm saying? We kind of want that just in case we're taking some snapshots and that's what we're going to be doing. So let's quickly do it again here. Let's right click on our, um, what is this called? Our dirt block, right? Well, we can just duplicate it, okay? Arrow to the right, you know what I'm saying? And it'll say M1. Get rid of the M1 because it's just taking M and adding a 1. Emissive underscore 1 or underscore M. There we go. So we got the dirt block. Now we're going to do the same thing here, okay? Get rid of these because you're not going to need them. And the reason you're not is when you go to default lit and set it to unlit, it gets rid of them. Get rid of the alt and click to get rid of. CTRL and click here to drag it and let go on the emissive collar. Get rid of your normals. And now you have a grass block. And a dirt block. You got them both right here. So we have all our material. We have all kinds of materials open here. We can close all these windows because UE4 is getting real serious. Now, the thing is, now we have um, our regular blocks and our emissive blocks. And if we wanted to, what we could do is each one we create, we could go in here and um, we could create one more folder inside of cubes and say emissive. Okay. Just in that emissive right there. Now, you'll notice it didn't turn the right color. We'll right click, go to the dark green, and we would take our emissive collars and plug them in there. And we may create another folder and put our regular materials in there, and that's fine, but these are our emissives. And now, as you can tell, if I put the dirt on there, it looks like a dirt. And it, again, you can compare them by going back and putting like the regular dirt on there, and you'll see that a lot of the shading and the, and the lighting. And again, it depends, but we're literally going to make snapshots really, really Really easy. We're going to be able to make them. We're going to go in here. You're going to set a material in your block. We'll have a camera set up to where you're always set up the same way. And then we're going to need a 2D software, but we'll talk about that in a future tutorial. But guys, just a quick little bit of organization here and a few other things we had to add. So inside the Minecraft folder, we have our cube stuff. We have our emissive stuff. Okay, make sure you have that for the next tutorial. We got our player information, which we don't have much, but we have the player. We got our for start of our UMG. We got our widgets and we got our materials all set up in there and named properly so we know what we're doing, right? And then we have our world MCBP that's actually terrain generation BP now that literally works and again if you haven't watched the previous tutorials go check them out because this was just organization to get prepared for the next several tutorials because like I said we have a lot of stuff to do and it's going to take up a lot more room in here and we want to make sure that we don't get lost because if all this was just one big block of nonsense, you're going to get lost, okay? And again, I like to color code it. If you didn't know you could do that, like I said, it's super simple. Set collar. You can create new collars. I mean, you're just going to boom, do whatever you want, do your thing. But the point is, it's awesome to be able to color code everything. It makes it really simple to look at. But guys, thanks for watching. Just a quick tutorial. I know it was easy. I know it was just organization. But definitely follow along with this. Definitely get organized because we're going to be adding several things. We're going to be adding our icons, new materials for the icons. And we're just going to have stuff everywhere. You don't want it scattered in a mess. We want it to be organized. So just a little quick organization and renaming and tutorial style tutorial uh, uh, tutorials. Uh, tutorials. Well, anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Josh here with Deprive Productions. Subscribe to the channel. Get ready for a few more days of Minecraft or the next few tutorials will all be Minecraft UE4. So get ready. All kind of cool stuff. New stuff. If you have any questions, holler at me on the Facebook. All the links are in the description. Facebook, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, HIO, YouTube, you name it. We're there. Deprive Productions. Love ya. Miss ya. Peace.